I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Real Expert. This video is about soreness. A lot of guys are asking about soreness. Should they train a muscle if it's sore? How come some muscles get sore, other muscles don't? With regards to soreness, soreness is usually a good indication of what kind of shape you're in and or how hard you've trained. So if somebody's in bad shape or they're out of shape or they haven't lifted in a while, doesn't take much to get them sore. So even though the workout might be easy, it brings on a significant amount of soreness. So therefore, it should tell you, wow, that really wasn't a hard workout, but I'm very sore. That gives you an indication of what kind of shape you're in. As we get in better and better shape, we have to train harder and harder to bring on additional muscle soreness and therefore more adaptation and growth. When your muscles get sore, you've got a certain amount of microtrauma that has occurred from the actual exercises. Then you've got a lot of waste products coming in and out of the, of the muscles, and that creates a certain soreness within the nerves. So when you flex, you go, wow, that's sore. So it, it sort of exacerbates the nerve endings, and that's why you get sore. Plus, there's a certain change in pH in the muscle. So there's a variety of things that are occurring. With regards to why certain muscles get sore versus others, you know, that's going to be based on your biomechanics. Some people, all their body parts get sore, meaning chest, back, biceps, triceps, shoulders, and legs. Some guys, only certain body parts get sore. My shoulders and biceps rarely get sore after a workout. Now, they will be tired the following day, meaning if I'm doing something with, uh, biceps and I go, wow, you know, my biceps are not sore, but they're tired. I don't have the snap. Same thing with shoulders. They won't be sore, but they'll be tired. I can feel the fatigue. But other body parts like legs, chest, and back, they seem to get sore for me. I think a lot of times it has to do with your biomechanics and also the massive amount of stretching that occurs, again, based on your body. With regards to a muscle being sore, and should you train it when it's sore? You know, that depends on how hard you've trained it before, how sore you are, how often you're training that muscle. I'm not a big fan of training a muscle if it is sore. If it's sore, it means it still needs some recovery. For instance, if I train chest on Monday, my chest is sore Tuesday, it's more sore Wednesday, and it is less sore Thursday. So if I was going to train chest again, I wouldn't train it again until Friday. But if you train a body part on Monday, it's a little sore on Tuesday, and on Wednesday it feels fine, you can hit it again. Typically they say, you know, 24 to 48 hours, but that's not quite accurate because it depends on how hard you have to train that muscle depending on how, what kind of shape you're in, and then that's going to determine, determine your level of soreness. So again, you can't just say that. That also goes for a beginner too. If a beginner really hits a muscle hard, that might be sore for three or four days. So I'm not crazy about training a muscle that is significantly sore. And you'll be able to tell if you, again, are bench pressing or doing biceps and they're sore and you're going, hey, it's time to hit it again. And you try training and you don't have that kind of power that you did during the first workout of the week uh, or the prior workout, you're going to say, yeah, uh, that was a little too soon. I can tell that I wasn't ready for it. So those are some of the guidelines with regards to soreness, training, and why we become sore and why we don't. I'm Steve Tarano. Train smart, train hard.